Hey, welcome back to The Dive. Our guest today has vast experience in the food and beverage industry, and he will share his thoughts on the recent development in the plant-based market, give us an update on their most recent listing, acquisition, partnerships, and product availability. He is the CEO of Zoglo's Incredible Food Corp. Tony Morello is joining us today. But before we bring Tony on, just a quick reminder to smash that subscribe button down there if you haven't already. Hey, Tony, welcome back to The Dive. Hello, Cassandra, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? Great, thank you. Great. Okay, so let's start with some recent plant-based food news and articles. In an effort to minimize emissions from the country's food systems, the Danish government has signed a climate agreement that involves the largest investment in plant-based research and development in the European Union. We understand that Zoglos has not yet arrived in Denmark, but we're just curious as to how closely you track such changes. Uh, we pay close attention to it's all these types of shifts and changes in the market. And, you know, we think that this is something that we're going to see more of all around the world. Uh, it's a uh, it's a problem. And, uh, you know, it's a problem that we have we have at our fingertips and that we can fix as a society. And we're just happy to play our role in, uh, in making that happen. OK, great. So you mentioned in our previous interview that Zoglos is targeting a broad market. According to several studies, Americans demand plant-based meals during social gatherings, such as dinner parties and business activities. Does Zoglos take this into account? Absolutely, and that's been really one of the, one of the real uh, points behind the strategy of the products, the assortment that we recently launched. It is about trying to make these products as interactive as possible with consumers so that they are interchangeable to traditional meat products. And you would use them just as you would any traditional meat product or ingredient in, in recipe development. So it is to really broaden the use and broaden the appeal and take away that uh, mystery that consumers might have as to how, to how to cook and how to prepare these foods. Awesome. Okay, so let's talk about the recent updates with Zoglos. The company is now cross-listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange and the FSE. What are your thoughts on Germany's market appetite? And also, do you intend to trade on any other platforms? Well, yes. I mean, with, uh, with Europe was, was a market that was uh, dying to, to have uh, the opportunity to purchase our shares and, and to, uh, to, to move forward with, with, uh, with uh, the stock. Um, and we are going to continue to look at other opportunities uh, on global markets, uh, US being, I guess, the next one that we'll probably look to target and uh, see if we can have uh, an offering on the, on the uh, OTC. Okay, yeah, makes sense. So the company entered a binding MOU to acquire a 51% interest in Monday Swiss UK Limited. How do you do your due diligence and how will this acquisition benefit Zoglo's growth strategy? We believe the technology that exists within Monday Swiss was uh, too logical to ignore. And uh, we wanted to have that partnership in order to have access to that technology. And that will always help us to have an innovation pipeline that will continue to, to uh, I think, make us a leader within plant-based food innovations and how to differentiate our business and our products from our competitors in the marketplace. It also goes hand in hand with why we wanted to be on the European Union, uh, or sorry, the European Stock Exchange as well in Frankfurt. The fact that Monday Swiss is a European company uh, located in Europe, it made all the sense in the world for us to kind of do the, do this, do it together simultaneously, so that uh, so that we could uh, we could move forward in that fashion. So, in addition to Monday Swiss, the company announced a partnership with Classic Touch Foods. What does this partnership potentially look like, and how are you going to leverage Classic Touch Foods? Well, it kind of goes back to an earlier comment I made about making products more accessible to consumers. Classic T Touch Foods is a leader in Canada. Uh, in prepared meals. So these are prepared meal kits, basically heat and serve meals that you would take home. All the components are, are uh, included. And Zoglo's is now supplying all of the uh, plant-based meat alternatives in the creation of those meals with Classic Touch. So it's allowed us to enter the marketplace within grocery stores anyway, and it'll expand beyond that to have uh, fresh prepared meals at grocery stores at a very affordable price 
and uh, basically the same price as your traditional meals, but all plant-based. Awesome. Okay, so do you have a timeline to share as to when the new products will be available on the shelves? We will go into test within the next uh, three to four weeks in, uh, in Canada, in the Toronto market. And uh, from there, we've got tons of interest through the U.S. and the rest of Canada, and we'll continue to roll out. Uh, we will likely uh, look at, at uh, launching uh, North America wide, I'm going to say spring of 2022. Uh, and that will be with a, uh, a frozen offering that will also be slack and sell within stores. What that means is that you can actually thaw the product and sell it as fresh within those supermarkets with 21 days shelf life after it's been bought. Oh, amazing. All right. Well, I can't wait to try it. And we'll stay tuned to uh, get the update on the story with you again, Tony. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We'll be back again tomorrow with more great content. So be sure to stay tuned by hitting that notification bell and smashing that subscribe button.